Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'll be checking out Oceana 2 by Performance Samples. With 100 singers and 12 syllables, Oceana is back and bigger than ever. Performance Sample's no-frills approach means you can get up and running with a fantastic cinematic choir quickly and with little effort. Oceana 2 runs in the full version of Contact 5.8.1 or higher. It downloads as 3.58 gigabytes and was recorded with both close and deca mic positions. There are 100 singers, 50 women and 50 men recorded separately, and 12 syllables that can be controlled via key switch or via auto rotation. Oceana 2 is available from Performance Samples for $219 but is currently available for the introductory price of $149 or $99 if you own the original Oceana through October 9th. So today I'm checking out Oceana 2 by Performance Samples. Many of you are going to be familiar with the Oceana series or Oceana 1 from Performance Samples as it's really become a go-to, almost a standard among composers for epic tracks that need choir elements. Um, I think the thing that is just so appealing about this library is the deep scripting. That means you don't have to monkey around with things and, and pull a lot of punches and move a lot of uh, knobs and sliders to get what you want. It just sounds good right out of the box. Um, so with Oceana 2, performance samples have taken that same idea, but they've expanded on it. Instead of 48 singers, you now have 100 singers, so more than double. That's 50 men and 50 women. And they've also added two additional syllables. So you have 12 syllables instead of just the 10 that were in Oceana 1. Um, there's also now two release speeds, so you can play faster passages and it, and it just works. It just sounds better. Um, so we're just going to dive right in. You can see that there's, but there's actually six different NKIs. There's a, a men main, a men risers, men whispers, women main, women risers, and women whispers. So we're going to try out each of those and just kind of play through the library, look at the interface a little bit, and hopefully you enjoy this video. So let's start off with the women main and just play some and let you hear kind of the different speeds in playing. You're also going to notice that there are some key switches down here. So the great thing about this library is you can play with the key switches and control the syllable that's being um, performed, or you can actually just not even touch the key switches and it will auto cycle through each syllable, um, which some people would go, well, gosh, why would you want these random sounds coming? It just sounds good. You really don't have to program this for it to sound good. So let's just dive right in. I mean, you can you can just hear that sounds really, really good. There's no reverb on that. There's no special effects. This is just straight out of the box. Um, so you can see as I'm playing, if I play staccato, I get a fast release. But if I go kind of slow, you get that sustain. The, the really cool thing that performance samples have done, and they do this with so many of their libraries, is they've just found this really interesting way of sampling that actually, instead of just sampling individual notes or individual phrases, they actually extract phrases from connected performances. So you kind of get this life and energy in the samples that you don't necessarily get in one that's just recorded in the traditional way. So you can see here with the key switches, it's auto cycling. I'm not touching this right now. So what are those syllables? Well, let's just go to the S to look for syllables and you can see here, and it's actually showing you in order what these syllables are. And the cool thing is, is if you want to, if you want to get in there and dig around, you can actually reassign these syllables. So you can put them in whatever order you want to, to allow it to auto cycle. Or of course you can do as I'm going to do right now and control them with the different key switches. Cool. 
I mean, just really, really cool. <laughs> okay, so going back to the main interface, you'll see here also that you've got a couple of different mic positions. So you've got your close mics, you've got your DECA. Um, so of course you're gonna get that closer sound. Let's go ahead and take off the DECA so you can hear that. And let's go ahead and take off the close. Actually, I should have just muted that, shouldn't I? That would have been much easier. Oh, trying to do things the hard way. <laughs> so let's go ahead and mute the close and just do the deca. I mean, <laughs> everything you play sounds good in this library. It's just so cool. I'm just playing really simple stuff, but it just sounds so good. And over here, something that I really like too that we'll get into with the with the whispers especially is this little makeup. Um, it's essentially just a gain control. So instead of having to put a trim plug in in front of this, you can actually use that for gain control, which is really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the women risers and let you hear what that's all about. So you can see there's only a few keys here and these are actually all, um, they, they all have the same, they're all in the same key, if, if you can call it that since it's a riser. Um, but each key starting with the C, go, the C goes kind of faster in the riser so that by the time you get to the F, you've got a much slower riser. So let's go through each one of those. Whoa, <laughs> that last one is long. That's really great. All right, let's move on to the whispers, the women whispers. And you'll notice with this one that you only really have one key to play. Um, that was confusing for me. At first, I kept playing the keys going, what the heck is going on? And then I realized just by playing this one, you can, you can cycle through the key switches, the syllables, and of course you can control those just like you can on the main patch. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit this B button so we can get back to the makeup because we're gonna need it here. These are really quiet. I'm gonna play it without the makeup first. So let me turn some makeup on. Let's put maybe, I don't know, six or seven decibels. Uh, let's go for eight. Let's try that. Actually, let's just keep going. How about, ooh, let's make it hot. Let's go 12. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> I mean, literally, I'm just hitting one key over and over and over again in rhythm to come up with these really complex whispers. Just so, so cool. And I mean, you combine that with some cinematic elements. Goodness, you get some good strings and some good cinematic drums going, some brass. Imagine you get to a quiet passage and... <laughs> I mean, that's just so cool. All right, off to the minute is. Actually, nope, before we do that, let's go back to the main page and let's listen to those with the mics because I'm really curious, especially with the DECA. But let's go ahead and start with the close and then I want to put the DECA on and see what that sounds like because I can imagine that would add some real ambience. Okay. 
Okay, and now let's go for the DECA. I'm actually going to turn the DECA up a little bit too. Again, it's totally, <laughs> are they saying anything? No. Does it sound good? Absolutely. I mean, that is just so cool. All right, off to the men. This is the men's main patch. So again, same controls, um, same abilities, same key switches, but just with the 50 male voice choir. And again, these were recorded separately, so you don't have any bleed over between the women and men. But again, if you want to create an ensemble patch, of course, you could just, uh, within the same instance of contact, you can drop a men and women patch in there, or you can open separate contact instances to combine the choir. Just really lots of, uh, lots of ability there. So let's go ahead and play with the men. Let's turn the men down a little bit. What do you say? Maybe there. see just how low we can go. So that's all the way down at D1. Oh my goodness, I can get lost playing this. This is so fun. <gasps> Oh, 
I mean, that is just so good. <laughs> okay, let's try, um, let's go ahead and mute the DECA and leave the close and let you hear the male the, the mail choir with the DECA, excuse me, with the close. And now let's take off the close and just hear it with the DECA. I'm going to turn the DECA up just a little bit here. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll over to the men risers. And again, this goes from the shortest riser to the longest, starting with the lowest key going to the highest. I feel like I just uh, rode in a race car. <laughs> I can't imagine recording those. How fun would that be? All right, let's move along. Actually, just for fun, let's do a couple of these where we take off the close and do the deca and vice versa. Right, and now let's take off the DECA and just let you hear the close. All right. And now last, but definitely not least, the men whispers. And again, with the whispers, with it being so quiet, let me just play it for a second. You'll, you'll see how quiet it is. Um, so we're going to want to definitely turn on that gain control. So let's go ahead and go over there to the little B. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that up pretty significantly. Now, the thing I did not mention so far is that the mod wheel also controls volume. So let me play with that, too, so you can kind of get a feel for the difference in um, in velocity when you apply that. Well, and I spoke incorrectly, I guess on the whispers, it doesn't. It does on the main um, patches, but on the whispers, it doesn't control that. So let's just play through it. Yeah, 
Very, very cool. All right, before we before we stop here, I want to go back. Just let me go back to the main men's patch and the main women's patch, and just let you hear just a couple of notes with each syllable, so you really get a feel for what those different syllables sound like. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to the syllable page, so you can actually see in accordance with the key switches what syllable we're playing here. Let me start that over. And let's go over to the women and do the same thing. And I really like how you can actually follow the syllables here. You can see the line go over each syllable so you can keep up with where you're at. And that, my friends, is Oceana 2 by Performance Samples. I don't know about you, but to me, this is just, this is a great, great library. Something that I'm very impressed with is the fact that the scripting is so deep in here that it doesn't really rely on a lot of flashy controls and a lot of user interaction. And I don't know about everyone else. I know a lot of people do like to have that customization and maybe this isn't customizable enough for some people, <laughs> as the logo says, not for purists. But in my mind, being someone who, you know, I, I personally work a full-time office job, I have a family, and I write for Sample Library Review, and I work for several production libraries. So I'm a busy guy with a lot on my plate. So libraries like this that come along and do a lot of the work for me, where I don't have to play around with knobs and switches and get everything just right, something that I can open up out of the box and play and use and put into my music right away, that is the kind of library for me. Um, so if you're like me and you're looking for something to quickly put into your epic or cinematic tracks or scores that um, it will just blow you away <laughs> as far as a choir goes, this to me is it. This is definitely going to take the place in my template as my go-to choir from here on out. So bravo performance samples. Thanks for checking out this video. I would love to know what you think about Oceana 2. Would you use this in your own music? What do you think about the depth and the quality? Comment below and share your thoughts. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Finally, be sure to visit samplelibraryreview.com for news, reviews, and our weekly deal compressor.